Alan Sheckett, Master of Arts in Organization Development. My name is Alan Sheckett, and I am a Fielding graduate. You know, I've done some pretty crazy things in my life. And um, I was sitting at my desk one day, I'm an engineer, and I was sitting at my desk arguing about 1,000th or 2,000th tolerances, and I think there has to be something more. And so I joined this program, and I found a program that found a way to integrate knowledge, your mind, your soul, and your spirit. And it's through the wonderful people that I work with, all my fellow students, and the faculty that gave me a new lease on my life, what I want to do, and what I value. And I thank most especially my, my, my wife of 27 years, is that right, 27? Yeah. <laughs> to uh, cope with another one of my crazy journeys. Thank you. For me, fielding has been a lot like different stages of my life as a parent. There were times that I had no idea what the hell I was doing and how I was going to get through it. But because of the um, space that all of you create, um, what I did was what I do during those tough times as a parent is I went into that deep place within myself that is wonderful but that I forget is there. And I just pulled, somehow I just pulled it out. What a wonderful, rich opportunity to get to know what's in the minds and hearts of you uh, via online. I, I, I never thought it could happen. Several of us have said that. Um, but it's just incredible. And there's a part of each of you that I worked with that I will take away. The greatest lesson for me is to know that you can extend yourself, that you can stretch yourself. And, and that even though it seemed at times, you know, at 1 o'clock in the morning and I had to post or, or I had to finish a paper, it seemed unsurmountable and it seemed really hard to do. I did it, and, and I would stretch myself to do it, and I think it's a great lesson for my kids to tell them that sometimes it doesn't feel like you can do it, sometimes it doesn't feel like, like you have what it takes, but you try it anyway, and you get it done. My sons, Jack and Ben, who believe that Pizza Hut pizza and Subway sandwiches are homemade meals. <laughs> you know, I come from New England, and I work at Disney, so in my warped sense of what is important in life, I've always thought that it's the Ivy League schools that retain all the talent and all the knowledge. I've always thought that it's your big, expansive enterprises where all the best thinking was done. And what I learned here at Fielding was that genius lives in so many places. It lives in Kathmandu. It lives in a re refrigeration repair shop someplace in Indiana. It lives in a place in... I don't know, Fiji, where someone's building houses for habitat, that great thinking and genius resides everywhere. And Fielding, I thank you for bringing this genius to one online community. Um, I really wanted to say something uh, from the heart, but uh, ever since attending Fielding, uh, I haven't been able to hold a conversation without typing and posting it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, uh, so I typed it. A colleague attending a lesser online university asked me, Tina, my humble opinion, don't you find that in all of your classes it's one or two people carrying the brunt of the load for the rest of your class? I was shaking my head and thought, not at all. For me, fielding has been an extraordinary learning opportunity. I feel privileged and I feel blessed to have been a part of this community of already successful professionals even before the program even begun. So. And I've already been promoted at my job, so it does work and it is possible. Thank you. I will carry on with a fielding spirit through my professional life. And as a professional life at the time when I'm about to retire, my wife of course is saying, you know, when are we going to retire? Sweetheart, we are retired. But we're not, we have not stopped learning. We're going to continue learning because this is a life experience, and that is what keeps us young.